Well, hi there. Um, getting back on track, or at least trying to get back on track. Today is uh, Friday. It is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's December 6th, 2019. Journal number 243, T plus 248. Um, and I promised a while ago that I would come back to something that Tom Hanks had said in an interview with Ellen DeGeneres on her show. I happened to catch it while I was walking through the family room and Leslie was watching. Um, and it's an acronym. Everybody's got acronyms for everything, right? It's an acronym for why am I talking? Wait, wait, W-A-I-T, why am I talking? And it's cute and it's interesting. And it was, it was uh, an interesting discussion because he was talking about how he was trying to put that into a play in his own life. And, and uh, I thought it was interesting as well. And it was worth uh, looking up. I actually went to the web and started to, you know, scrounge around, lurk around, and uh, see if I could find anything on that. And, and there's plenty of, it's, it's not original to Tom Hanks. It's, it's, uh, it's a thing, and uh, evidently a thing that escaped me. I don't know how old the thing it is, but uh, there's plenty on the internet on it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to include a, a, a flow chart that I found I thought was pretty interesting on it as well. But the thing that really is more interesting than anything else is that I think it's more or less normal for the majority of people to fall into the trap of thinking about what they're going to say while the person with whom they're engaged in conversation is talking rather than listening to that person and hearing what they have to say. Um, I know it sounds like an indictment, but maybe not. Uh, it's something that I've noticed about myself. I think we're all guilty of it to some small degree or large degree, depending. Uh, but looking at the acronym and thinking about it forces you to ask all kinds of questions. It's like, you know, what do I have to share? Is what I have to share worthwhile? Uh, is it appropriate for right now? Am I, is it appropriate for the right person? Am I speaking to the right person to share this with? Right? So why am I saying this if I'm saying it to the wrong person? Um, why now? Why this moment? Why at this particular point in time? Um, to some degree, perhaps, how will a person I'm talking to accept whatever it is I have to share, whatever I have to say? Um, what can be gained from my sharing it? What can be lost? Perhaps even more important. And, and how do you communicate this whole idea of waiting your turn? You know, the, 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 uh, I'm sure that, that some of you or, or all of you are familiar with the idea of the talking stick, right? You know, the stick goes around the room and you can't talk unless you have possession of the stick. So you can't talk out of turn. Um, Consequently, everybody has a fair share to express their thoughts, opinions, concerns. And the most important part of all of this, I think, uh, when all is said and done, is are you listening? You know, are you listening? If you're not talking, are you listening? Or are you thinking about what you're going to say next? Now, all of this is really an interesting exercise in theory, right? How practical is it? I'll tell you, it's really practical because I had occasion. I had uh, I had a very dear friend come over the other day and. Uh, he was troubled. He had things that he needed to talk about. Things going on in his life that were serious, serious things. And, and, and I know that there are people that would have felt uh, put upon. I know that there are people that would have felt uh, as if this was some kind of a, a, a bother, an infringement. Uh, to me, it's a privilege that somebody trusts what you have to say or what you think enough to seek your counsel on something like this. So I, I, I made a point of making time, having him come over, sitting down and discussing it. And I decided before he got here that I was going to go ahead and at least attempt to put this whole idea of, of weight in play 
and see see how it works and see what it feels like if you're going to experiment and road test the idea. And I got to tell you something. It works. It really works. It's difficult. It's really hard. It's hard to resist the urge to say something. Um, especially if there are long periods of silence in between. But I know that when I'm trying to go ahead and do the blogs or the journals, I know there are times when I go quiet for a few seconds because I'm trying to think of how best to say what it is I have to say. And recognizing that made it a lot easier for me to just sit still and listen. The other thing that happens when you're practicing wait, why am I talking, is you tend to lean in because you want to hear, you want to know exactly what's going on. And, uh, and that helped a lot. Now, I'm not going to tell you that we resolved all of, all of my friend's problems because I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what's going to happen when he gets back into the world. I have no idea what's going to happen when he gets back home again. What I do know is by my choosing to wait and by my choosing to speak selectively and by my choosing to allow him to find his own answers, I think he's going to be a lot more successful with the problems he's trying to solve than he would have been otherwise. He's certainly going to be more successful with the problems he was trying to solve than he would have been had he just taken whatever I had to say and implemented it. Because this time, the choices that he makes and, and, the, uh, and the actions that he takes are really going to be his own. They're not going to be given to him by somebody else. They're going to be things that he has he's found himself. You know, he's lifted the rock and there it was. So I'm not sure exactly how to go ahead and, and uh, put this flow chart into the video. However, I am sure of uh, how to put it onto the written blog. So take a look at it there. I can show you what it looks like, though. Right. There are two of them, really, if you look at it carefully. Why am I talking? I have something really important to say. I know I have a very strong opinion to share. OK, fine. That's good. Is this the time to do that? Yes or no? If it is, be concise. Why am I talking? I have an, I have an on topic contribution. Is it your turn? No, don't talk. If it is your turn, did somebody already make this contribution? Be concise. And if you I like the bottom one better. I think that's the bottom one. I don't think it's as sexy. If I can figure out which way to move it so that you can see it. There we go. Right. So look for it in the blog. I'll put both of them in there. All right. In the meantime, stay well. Take care. When you have something to say, think about what you have to say. Make sure you know what it is. Make sure it's concise. Make sure you found the best way to say it. Make sure you're saying it to the right person. And, and wait if you have to. Okay. It's Friday. Have a wonderful Friday evening. Um, have a great weekend if I don't connect with you before that, but I'm going to be online. So take a look around. I'll be back. Um, for those of you who have read Misfire or are reading Misfire now, if you like it or if you love it, please go to Amazon and leave a, a, a review. Reviews really help. And uh, I'd sure appreciate that. The feedback I'm getting on the book so far is great. I'm really excited. Uh, so thank you for all your help with regard to the book and getting it out into the world and sharing its message. Uh, stay well, take care. And that's it for now.